Hi everyone, and welcome to this video on how to use Nmap to scan for open ports. Nmap is a powerful network scanning tool that can be used to identify open ports on a remote host. This information can then be used to assess the security of the host and identify potential vulnerabilities. What is Nmap? Nmap is a free and open source network scanner that can be used to scan for open ports. On a remote host, Nmap also provides information about the services running on those ports. How to use Nmap? To use Nmap, simply open a terminal and type the following command. I'm assuming that you have installed Linux on your PC or laptop. The target can be the IP address or domain name of the remote host that you want to scan. For example, to scan the host scanme.nmap.org for open ports, you would type the following command. Scan will take time, so be patient. To check the progress, you can press enter to check the progress. This command will perform a basic scan of the host and identify any open ports. To scanning specific port ranges, you can also scan specific port ranges by using the IP option, for example. To scan the ports 80 and 443 on the host that we have previously scanned, you would type the following command. You can also specify a range of ports by using a hyphen. For example, to scan the ports 1 to 100 on the host, you would type the following command. To scanning for specific services. You can also scan for specific services by using the SV option, for example, to scan the host. For the HTTP service, you would type the following command. This will return information about the HTTP service running on port 80 of the host. You can also save your scan results to a file by using the O option, for example, to save the scan results of the host to a file called scan.txt, you would type the following command. And map is a powerful tool that can be used to scan for open ports and identify services running on remote hosts. This information can then be used to assess the security of the host and identify potential vulnerabilities. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.